All right, everybody, welcome back. This is another TTM video. If you haven't tuned in recently or have never seen one of my videos, I like to get autographs TTM or through the mail. You just send your favorite athlete or celebrity an autograph request along with a photograph or a card, self-addressed stamped envelope, TTM or through the mail, and you'll be surprised how many times you can get a return. When you do, you come to YouTube, make videos, share the information. That way anyone else can get their favorite autograph from their favorite celebrity or athlete. Before we begin, I just want to promote someone's channel. He's a, been a great follower of mine, a great subscriber of mine. It's Disguise Cards. He's beginning to make uh, TTM videos for himself, does a great job. He needs some followers, guys. Get over there after this video plays. Give him a sub and let him know that I sent you. Does a good job and you will not be sorry. Get over there, Disguise Cards. All right, let's begin. We've got five today. And without further ado, let's go get right into it. First one's coming, no postmark. No postmark. And it's Ron Neche. Ron Neche, we got him before a long time ago. And he may have drawn on the... <laughs> That's two in a row, guys. Two in a row. He wrote on the hard card, but he caught himself when he finished on the card. Uh, he's 87 years old now. Doesn't get a lot of requests, so he's probably not used to them, but uh, only played one year in the big leagues. But Ron Neche has uh, talked to him about, about him before. He's the only pitcher ever, and this was a minor league game. Faced, uh, you know, tw 27 batters, 27 strikeouts. That was in 1952. He was 19 years old. It was a no-hitter. And his next start, he had 24 strikeouts through a two-hitter. So he, made, he was called up late in the season and then ended up injuring his arm and was, again, arm injuries back then. Just uh, you didn't recover from them. Surgeries weren't what they are today. And he never came back, was never able to make the big leagues again. But um, what could have been? Ron Neche. Six days, no fee, Ron Neche. Go get him, guys. He's 87. Next one's coming from Charlotte, North Carolina. Number two of five. This is the one that was continued from the Frank Thomas video. Oh, no hard card. It's Joe Jacoby. Personalized to Michael, Joe Jacoby. Pretty cool. Just got him in my uh, recent, well, it would be a surprise. Received him dif differently. He's 60 years old, offensive lineman, 12 or 13 seasons, uh, from the early 80s to the early 90s, all for the Washington Redskins. Member of the infamous offensive line, Hogs, Jeff Bostick, Mark May, uh, Russ Grimm, one of the best offensive lines in history. And in three Super Bowls, they broke records for rush, rushing yards, 276 yards, 280 yards, four times in a Pro Bowl for Joe Jacoby, NFL All-Decade team for the 80s, along with Russ Grimm. And he's been a three-time finalist for the Football Hall of Fame, so he will probably get in one of these days. 29 days, no fee, Joe Jacoby. I sent it to his um, insurance business down in Charlotte. Next one's coming from Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati, oh, WKRP. Did not sign the... Oh, Tommy Helms just sent this out. Two of two. Did not sign the um, index cards. That's fine. Red Sox card there on the 78 tops. And then this Pittsburgh Pirate on the 76 tops traded. He only played a couple years for the Buckos, but uh, he is a two time All Star, two time Gold Glover. 78 years old now. He's second baseman. Uh, several teams, mostly for the, um, not pictured here, but for the Astros and the A's. Long time assistant coach. Then he was a manager for the Reds. Actually took over when Pete Rose was suspended 
uh, the first time for bumping an umpire. And then, of course, he was suspended after he got in trouble for the gambling issues. But Tommy Helms took over both times in the late 80s for the Reds. Uh, NL Rookie of the Year in 66 for you Rookie of the Year subset collectors. Get in uh, Tommy Helms. Two-time Gold Glove, uh, two-time All-Star. Six days, no fee for Tommy Helms. Next, coming from Nashville, Tennessee. And it's Ernest Miner. I've seen some other folks get him back recently. Why is it coming from Nashville, Tennessee? Ernest Biner, really good running back. All right. He's 57 years old now. I sent these to his uh, dog pound or dog adoption center or down in South. I forget where it was, but it was it certainly wasn't Nashville. And that Pro Line Portraits card's pretty cool. But uh, he was a two-time Super Bowl champ, Super Bowl 26 with the Redskins as a player, and in Super Bowl 35 as a coach for the Ravens. He ran for uh, 8,200 yards in his career, 56 touchdowns. Also was a very good receiver, caught over 500 passes out of the backfield. Two times in the Pro Bowl. Took a while, uh, 174 days. 174 days, no fee, Ernest Biner. Final one out of Reno, Nevada. Oh, Kingman, King Kong. All right, one and two and three. Nice. Played for a lot of teams, Cubs, Giants, and A's here, as you can see. All right, this is the second time I've got Dave Kingman back. 442 lifetime home runs. When he retired, he was the only player with 400-plus home runs who was not in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Prodigious power, great power hitter. Didn't hit much for average. Swung a lot and missed. He's 71 years old now. Played for 15 years from 71 to 86. 442 lifetime homers. Uh, three times an all-star. Led the NL in home runs twice, 79 and 82. I got that back in 10 days, no fee. Well, that's it, guys. Went through five pretty quick. Ron Neche, six days. Joe Jacoby, 29 days. Tommy Helms, six days. Ernest Biner, 174 days. Dave Kingman, 10 days. No fee for any of them. Really appreciate you guys watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Leave a comment down below. Let me know who your favorite was out of these. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscription rectangle and then hit that notification bell. You'll be notified of all my future videos. Really appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.